afternoon. It is the Upper Delaware River Restoration Research at Work, and the presenters are going to be Molly Oliver and Tracy Brown. So I'm going to hand it off to you two ladies and take it from there. Molly, are you here? Tracy? Sorry, I'm, sorry I was, could not figure out how to unmute myself with my presentation on the screen. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure, is Tracy here? She wasn't sure if she would actually be back for this or not. It seems like maybe she's not, but that's okay. Um, so I actually have a very speedy presentation here. Um, I am very quickly going to run through the latest funding um, that's coming into the Upper Delaware River for stream restoration. And this was, um, this awarding was announced just a couple months ago and we're in the process of getting into contract for this. So this is kind of some exciting up and coming work that, that you'll be seeing ro rolling out in the next couple of years, over the next couple of years. Um, so just to give it a general overview, um, you can see the orange and pink stars on here are projects that we have gotten funded in the past through the Delaware Watershed Conservation Fund. Um, and that is about $1.65 million worth of work. And this year we were awarded an additional approximately $400,000. Um, so quickly on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see there's a few projects that are just listed on here. Um, and that's because those are either, they cover a large geographic area that you can't really put a star on, um, or they're a planning project. And so in the case of the high definition stream survey, um, we were originally funded to do that work last year. And this year got a little bit of additional funding to expand that work a bit. So we're pretty excited about that because, you know, as you just saw in that presentation, that is very, very useful to us in defining projects as we move forward. Um, we will also be working on an education and outreach event in the town of Colchester. And we are doing that because we're also, we're, we're already going to be doing a lot of education and outreach work in the towns of Deposit and Hancock. Um, in particular through the knotweed project that we're, we are working on, and you'll hear a little bit about that in a minute. Um, so we wanted to keep up our community engagement and outreach in the town of Colchester to the same level. Um, so we will be doing um, sort of some targeted education and outreach. Um, and finally, we'll be doing a recreation plan for this entire green and tan area that you see. Um, there are two on the ground pieces that go with this. And I just want to double check that Tracy hasn't joined. No, Tracy. Okay. So the first is uh, the Wilson Hollow Assessment and Stream Improvement Planning Project. And this, um, we at, at FEDR, FEDR, we work very closely with Trout Unlimited, both for um, getting funding, for implementing the projects. As you can see, they're very um, heavily involved in the research, the planning, the design of these projects, whereas FUDR tends to be more involved in the public outreach, um, you know, coordination. Um, so it's a really nice working relationship that we have here. So TU will be involved in actually assessing 10 miles of stream um, that it ends up in Downsville, New York. Um, they'll review and prioritize the culvert survey data and as you saw Tracy talking about this morning, they're actually in the process of uh, reviewing that data now. So by the time we get to doing the rest of this project, that piece will be complete. Um, we'll be doing landowner outreach and volunteer activities. We'll develop a restoration plan. Um, the fiber optics work that they were talking about this morning will also happen at priority sites. And then we'll actually survey, design, permit, and implement a high priority project. And then the final piece of this is three culvert replacements in the village of deposit. And these culverts are in, in serious disrepair right now and in danger of failing. Um, and that could cause a really serious water quality impairment. So we're really happy to work with the village to you know, get them the funding that they need to get that project complete. 
And that is all I have for you. Thank you.